Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> Subscribe to like, share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three like. Leave a comment, subscribe, four, subscribe, all right. Our lesson for today is proving triangles congruent. Thank you so much, and we have triangle con congruency shortcuts. So if you can prove one of the following shortcuts, you have two congruent triangles. So we have SSS or side, 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 SAS or side angle, side, ASA or angle, side angle, AAS or angle, angle, side, and then each L or hypotenuse leg right triangles only. This is for right triangles only. Next. Built in information in triangles. So we have vertical angles, the shared side reflexive property, the shared angle repl repl also reflexive property. So reflexive property, if um, for example, we have segment XY is congruent to segment XY. Now, let's identify the built-in part here, okay? So, we have here, okay, so this side is the built-in side. Then, we have the built-in angles and also these sides, okay? Then, for SSS, okay, the shared, this is the shared side. Of course, we have the shared, ang the vertical angles, for the sang, si, SAS, okay, and then the parallel lines, okay, so these are the shared side. Some reasons for indirect information, so we have the definition of midpoint, the definition of bisector, vertical angles are congruent, definition of perpendicular bisector, and reflexive property or shared side, and of course, the parallel lines or the alternate interior angles and the property of perpendicular lines. This is called the common side and it is side for both triangles. Yeah, so this part here, no? So this is the common side and it's both triangles shared. This right. So we'll use the reflexive property. Okay, so we have here the HL or the hypotenuse leg is used only with right triangles, but not all right triangles. Okay, so we have here the HL, no, and of course we have the ASA or the angle side angle. So we have here name the postulate here. Of course, we have for the flexive property we have SAS. Yeah, and we have vertical angles, so that is us also. Same here, vertical angles, of course, this is us. And this one is also a rep reflexive property that is through SSA. So side, side, angle. But it's not, no? Then let's practice. Indicate the uh, additional information needed to enable us to apply specified congruence property. Okay, so here, for ASA, that means angle, uh, we have given here angle B, which is congruent to angle D. 
of course if we are have this as our angle so we have the angle angle c is congruent to angle e and of course we have bec and um te as the common so for us naman okay given is the side ac okay this one is congruent to fa okay this one here therefore uh what we need here is side side angles so of course we can have this side and this side so bc and e, and of course angle c is congruent to angle e for angle angle side so we have angle f it's congruent to angle a okay this one okay so we need has uh angle angle of course angle c to angle e and of course we have this AC, so this angle, angle side, or we can have this part here, BC and D. That's it. Now determine if whether each pair of triangle is congruent by SSS, SAS, ASA, or AS. If it's most possible, prove that they are congruent. Right? Not possible. Okay. So we have here triangle GIH is congruent to triangle jik by angle angle side so we have angle here and also we have uh, uh so okay we have example number five so determine whether uh, each of the part is congruent by sss as or that possible okay so um, we have here two angles at uh yeah so that means this is um angle side angle so asa okay this is for asa yes then another we have we are going to determine this are given two congruent sides we have here this one and this one okay and this one also is congruent here and of course that is um true uh, therefore, we can say the triangle ACB is congruent to triangle ACD by SAS or this one. The vertical angle, so these are congruent. So, we have SAS. Then, we have, okay, so let's try if this triangle is congruent, okay. So, we, this is triangle JMK is congruent to triangle LKM by SAS or ASA, okay. Why is that? This one, huh? These are congruent, and of course, this one, and they have sides. They have sides that are congruent, so angle, angle, side. Now, determine whether each of the pair of triangles is congruent, so this is not possible because they are not the right triangle. No. Uh, next, we have here example number one. Okay, so um, we have this triangle. Then step one, mark the given. Okay, let's mark them. Okay, so we have uh, segment A, B, congruent to segment C, D. And of course, B, C is congruent to D, A or A, D. They prove the triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle C, D, A. All right. So mm, reflexive sides are vertical angles here. Okay. Yeah, it's the reflexive sides. It then choose the method. So we can choose here SSS, SAS, ASA, AAS, or HL. We will choose side, side, side because the given here is the congruent sides. Okay. So that's SSS. So we have uh, tri segment AB is congruent to CD, BC is congruent to DE. Now our reasons. Okay, so given, given, of course, uh, triangle property. Then is there more? Okay, so prove that triangle AB is congruent to triangle CDA. Okay, so that is, proof should be right at the end, okay? That is true. Uh, SSS postulate.
So the proof statement is always last. Okay, next. Let's have problem two. Okay, so we have here a triangle AB is congruent to triangle ABCBD with two um, given um, segments. Okay, so mark the given, of course, here we have. And so AB and BC or CB. Then we have AB and DB. Okay, so reflexive sides and vertical angles, of course. Yeah, okay. So choose a method. We can we will choose as okay, so a side angle side. Okay, so uh, here we have a segment A B is congruent to C D and angle A B is congruent to angle C. B A. Okay, so look at the vertical angles. And we have segment A B is congruent to D V. So of course the first is given vertical angles theorem and also given. So why did we mark those parts? Now is there more? Of course, right? Then we have triangle A B E is congruent to triangle A B is true, SAS postulate or side angle side postulate okay so we have problem three okay so we have a given xlw congruent to angle zw and angle xw congruent to angle zyw all right next the second this is the next problem so mark the given Okay, so we have reflexive size vertical angles. Then choose the method. Of course, we will choose ASA, okay? Or angle side angles because uh, given here we have two angles. Okay, side angle, side angle. And then triangle X, X, Y, W. So we have X, Y, W here. No, so the, we have here the angles. And the... Uh, W, Y, W, Y is this the diameter or the center that's the reflexive and triangle or angle X, Y, W is congruent to angle X, C, Y, W. Okay, so given, so we have reflexive property and then more. Okay, this is more. Of course, we could say that triangle W, X, Y is congruent to W, to uh, triangle WZY, okay? That's it. That is true as a postulate. Okay, guys, uh, let us continue our, on the next video. This uh, proving triangle congruence. Uh, for questions and clarification, please leave your comment. And this uh, saying is for journal number f uh, six. As for butterflies, I can hardly conceive of ones attending upon you. But to question the congruence of complement is vain if it exists. By Marianne Moore, good luck guys and see you all. Bye-bye!